it is a very special atmosphere that we have here in climbing. But Orian Berton runs on first, waves to the crowd. And it is very hot here in the stadium. And we, this final is an hour earlier than the men's final yeah. last night. And it got cold last night. Yeah, it was cold. I came in a long sleeve shirt and pants, and I was cold. So I uh, brought a sweatshirt today, but I'm just, you know, this room's quite hot too, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah, we are baking in here. But whether that will make a difference to the roots, we'll see. The, uh, the stats here, super interesting, the, uh, the tops. I, I wonder if that's across all rounds or only in finals. I would assume all rounds, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure, actually, on that one. You'd assume all rounds that they entered, yeah, but... I'll ask the stat, dude. Right, Flavi comes but really out. Cool. First World Cup final. Awesome to see her here. She looked a little lonely to start with on the isolation and then sort of got into it. It's not the isolation, the observation. And then sort of, observation. Yeah, right. observation. Then she got involved. In the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's different, right? She's obviously been in many finals where she's done the observation, but maybe she's used to doing it by herself or in pairs or, I mean, there is another French too, but, you know, maybe she wanted to just start it by herself and yeah. then be like, well, it is kind of a team thing. Like, yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's cool. But it must be strange walking out that mat for the first time in a final with all the crowd watching you observe yes. the boulders. And there is Yanya, broke her toe in the off-season, missed a couple of comps and chose Prague for her return. So that's our top six. Strong field. Now, of course, we're missing a few names, especially for the Americans. Brooke, Natalia, Annie Sanders, their training. Uh, and a lot of people wanted to see that battle between Natalia <laughs> and Yanya, but they're going to have sure. to wait. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to wait for that one. Within the IFSCs, it's great to have you here. Well, this is boulder number one. This is our 3D rendition of it. Now, it's a big jump from the starting holds over and landing on that black volume. And you have to be very precise with the feet. Mm -hmm. Move up to the zone, and then there's another enormous jump coming at the top as well. They also rotated this initial black foot that they're going to land on just counterclockwise about, what, five to ten degrees? So it's funny, I saw I see this and I'm just like, wait, that's not what it looks like. It's yeah. No, no, it's, it's ten degrees. Ten degrees yeah, they counterclockwise. they scanned them a couple of days before and then obviously the setters tend to tweak them a little bit. So there are little differences. And in fact, there's a, there's a change in zone on the slab at home. Like, I don't mind going to a restaurant, but it's just like... It's just harder to control. Like, yeah, absolutely right. And it's more expensive. So. It is indeed. Right, here, here comes Orianne. Now, you've got to be precise with this. It's a hard one to flash. She's just trying to get the swing going. I was curious if she would match the left hand hold or go off the right. And uh, obviously on that final swing, matches the left to try to get over. And uh, probably what you need to do, but she needs to go up, up a little more. There was a discussion whether this would be... Oh, oh look at that, though. All the way. <laughs> also, curious if it's going to go that way or the other way? Yeah. I was about to say it might be too hard, this first move, but Orianne cruised this. Now, the left foot is a nasty foot. She's looking down at it there. It's kind of texture, but then no texture bits on it. It's all stacked together, and it's very small. There's a huge jump out to the left-hand catch. There you go. And... <laughs> it's a big pop for Oriana <laughs> Boulder one. She didn't match that, I don't think, before celebrating and then sort of had a moment mm -hmm, and brought it back mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. And there is the smoke across the stage, which is quite unique. I didn't know it was happening. Right, here comes Stasha. And obviously it's a finish on the hold, so you cannot match the volume, so I hope no one makes that mistake. If they get to the top. Absolutely, so she touches the black instead of the green, it won't count. Right, Stasha's got to learn this move. And we really don't know whether Orianne just was perfect on it or if it's a bit easy let's Oops. see so as expected falling off that first attempt and sure when we say like learning a movement like this why do the athletes have to do it like why is it difficult to get a swing like this straight away the hardest part usually when you're doing these is getting the right angle of pendulum so you see here and it's a lot easier to see in person but usually i can watch a person that's throwing a boulder and i can be like no they're going the wrong way they'll keep swinging and sure enough they a lot of the time to keep swinging and in the semi-finals for the men you'd see a lot of them start to swing and then they would actually just end up like jumping off because sometimes it is easier just to sacrifice a try reset get up because here once you do the toe touch you're not moving so you can start the swing in the right, right direction and you can see there she was actually too low but the angle of swing actually looked really, really good. So she'll probably do the same, but she has to get her hips up and over or go more of like a like a, a swing and then jump. You almost like fall down onto the volume. Yeah, I'm with you. She go up to go down. Yeah, whereas Orianne, 
in her mind, obviously, she's like, no, I'm doing this as a triple. So she was very much right to left and carried the momentum through. And then obviously it's the green foothold that stopped all of her momentum. So you can't really grab any other holds after that, but True. you don't need to. It's not a slab. Wait, you chalk up and you're done. Yeah, right. we, really weird. But. No, I had no idea. I'm going to attempt that next time. Right, Stasha starts this. She's only got 49 seconds. And a very classic Stasha pose. This just sort of starting to work her way up. She looked very relaxed in the semi final, was enjoying it. And when she gets into that flow, she's almost unstoppable. But this might throw her off a little bit. And skipping the first hold altogether. And it's also probably a lot harder, too, because you know that Oriane did it in less than a minute or a minute, minute 20. So it's like, oh, she did it in one, two, or three tries. Why can't I do it in, you know, eight to 10? And is it is it simple? Is it? Yeah, it's a good point. It's almost easier for those coming after Stasha because they'll think, well, look, it's either doable or it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, it's one exactly. of those boulders. Whereas for her, she thinks it's doable. All right, Stasha leads in no zones and no tops. Yeah, she needed to get over her foot more because she wasn't Sorry, I was saying um, she needed to just get over her foot a little bit more. It looked like the foot was stopping. She wasn't actually getting to that zone hold. All right, here is Miho as she starts to swing. And the triple, right, okay, flashing this boulder is very proud. Like, she hasn't done it yet, but even flashing that move. Right, she needs to get that foot on. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly balanced backwards. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Right away. Wow. Wow. Stasha on that boulder is uh, impressive. This is interesting. So Stasha struggled. Oriane did it second go and Miho flashes it. With three in and three totally different results. Interesting. So yeah, she went full swing, left hand to the bottom, right to the zone, and mainly aiming for the foot. If you get your hand, hand on the zone and the foot, you can stop. It's interesting how she kind of caught the momentum on the wall before yeah. re-going. Yeah and didn't actually generate a ton left, uh, right to left. Yeah, she slowed herself right down. Nearly overbalanced there. Oh, pulled it back in, and then a precise jump into the crimp. No problem. <laughs> All right, so that jumps Miho to the top of the standings with a flash for the time being. And here is Flavi, her first boulder in her first World Cup final from Team France. This is gonna be a huge moment for her career. I really like that uh, that gate too that they can uh, they can change <laughs> at will. Oh, you mean the graphic? Yeah. Yeah, the graphic gate. All right, here Flavi goes. Starts the swing. Oh, and yeah, kind of brought a hand in. And yeah, just missed it. But luckily, the holds are kept shaded. Right, here she goes again. Needs to get the hand in. She does this time. Yeah, I wonder, because she read this with Oriane, and Oriane did it in a different way, so. Yeah, but and it's hard, because Oriane also tr tried to stop once, and then read it as the other one, so they had the two sequences, so. True, so Oriane made the adjustment, but Flabby hasn't yet. That could be an experience thing. And it looks like she's off axis now. She's a little bit too far away from the wall. And now's the time to try something different as we go towards the minute mark. As a, as a new finalist, is it's hard to know when to change beta or when just trying the same thing, especially on a jump or something, that you're doing it right. You're just, you're just not getting that little, that little thing that, like, once it clicks, it feels like the easiest boulder in the world. Or do you switch from a single into a triple? Yeah, and she hasn't changed it up yet. And if she's going to, she, oh, big fall. I think that could be it. I think it is it for Flavi. All right, so no zone, no top yet. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. one of the two with this boulder. Feeds by Ito up now. So here she is. She'll be gearing up for the lead season as well, as everyone is. Are you uh, looking forward for Innsbruck? That's Brixton and Innsbruck. Yeah, so um, I actually couldn't do a lot of bouldering moves because of my shoulder, so I switched into lead training actually quite early because it was a lot more just fluid. so a lot easier for the shoulders. So Fitova misses. 
Yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, I've got dodgy shoulders, and I, I find Lee quite hard because you're hanging off them for a while, but you could... There is that part of it, but, like, the physical demands, on your, especially on your shoulders, is crazy now with bouldering, where I can do, like, a 40-move circuit and just not set something that's crazy on the shoulders. So. Yeah. So she starts tick-tocking back and forth. Actually quite close with the, with the one move, but I hope she switches into the second method. One day. So Futabar swinging in. Jumps up to the start and holds. Nice and easy to start with. Her swing technique is fascinating. It's like she's using the weight of her own legs to sort of pull her back. All right, here she goes again. She goes right there. That was really low, that one. Banged her shin as well on the way down. Last couple of goes, and we'll be taking a bit of energy out of her this. She hasn't really paused much. I think Fittabart is done. All right. Once again, this bowl that provides a conundrum for the athletes. Whole body is not coming back in a, as fluid of motion as what I believe Miho is doing. Really good point. Because not just your feet that go back and forth. You really have to look at the torso. Um, all right, well, everyone's been saying the Queen is back. She certainly looks like she's back. She's smiling. Oh, and there you go. she does that. So, yes, the Queen is back. She's still got one move to go, though. Works the feet up. And you can see how far her torso went left, right? And just, it, is, it is little things, and um, it's, a, it's one of those practice ones, and she is phenomenal at those types of moves. And oh, from the end, yeah. straight in on that top hole. Didn't get it with one hand. Well, any nerves... Any ring rust, that would have gone. Yanya Gambra is back. She's a challenge to anyone, and that will jump her up the leaderboard, having qualified in first place and got a flash over Miho Nanaka. And we'll see confirmation of those scores in a sec. That's our crowd. There's uh, some rostra seating. Everyone else standing. And let's watch Yanya again, because it was so quick. We almost missed it. Especially this top move. So we've got the left foot on. Spot at the top. Easy match for Yanya. <laughs> I bet she's missed that feeling so much. Yeah, the best feeling in the world, topping bowlers. <sighs> All right, that's the standings. Yanya Garnbrett, one attempt, one top. So the top two both got flashes. Oriane did it in two goes, and then no one else has got any points yet. That's how things stand. One boulder done, three to go, and it's coming up to 7.20 here in Prague. Let's have a look at our next boulder then. So, Sean, the zone hold here has... Oh, no, it hasn't been adjusted. It's in the correct position. That's good. All right. Well, the zone is on that dish. And we're both saying how nasty that uh, second yellow volume looked. Oof, yeah. Uh, obviously, a little run start. Maybe a big run if you really want to get up there. But, yeah. The big yellow volume on the right might be on those little volumes a tiny bit. Oh yeah, you can see it at the bottom here. So that basically they were trying the boulder with it flat against the wall and it was just slightly too hard. So they need to pop it out like two degrees just to make it possible. Crazy what they have to adapt, isn't it? All right, Oriane, so confident through this slab immediately. Works the feet up. I mean, look, she trains at the Karma Gym in Fontainebleau. Oh. She's pretty good at slab climbing, clearly. She's just flashed that. Ran out and finished the bowler in 30 seconds. That's, uh... <laughs> this is a, a very interesting composition. That looked so easy. I mean, I, I saw so many root setters falling off that thing. It's not that easy, I promise you. <laughs> well, she made it look really easy. Look at it. See? Both feet on the bottom, then foot up to the top. But uh, yeah, from here, just uh, stood up and then a little foot, man, a little toe up. Oh, there's a toe there. Missed that, actually. A little jib a little, yeah, yeah, jib to get to the zone, and then you don't use it for the last jump, but uh, or I guess stand up, press, more appropriate. She's putting so much weight through her feet as well, considering how bad the handles are, obviously you have to do that, but it's that's a really good lesson in good slab climbing. Mm -hmm. And again, for Stasha, how intimidating is this? Oriane's gone. She would have still been like getting herself ready. Suddenly she's got to go within 30 seconds. Yeah, tricky. And uh, Stasha, uh, 
sometimes doesn't like climbing slabs, and so being a little bit behind, she needed to need to come back. It's not going to be this boulder because obviously Ryan did it. Um, so she just needs to get through this boulder. She just needs to have a top to be, you know, being able to eventually get on the podium with the, another two boulders. So she just needs to calm down, climb like she knows how to, and just get through the slab boulder. She yeah, just it's important actually to to get both feet, yeah, like that, because you get to the foothold. Because then when you're on the foothold on the left here, you can place your right foot a bit more to to stand up a little bit better. I'm interested in a shoe choice. They're quite stiff, those. I wonder if she has a softer pair. For the time being, she's doing there good. You go. Or toe. Heel. <sighs> Should work. Yeah, she's going to have to flick it down, which she does. Out onto the red dish. The last then, move. Here we go for Stasha. Oh, goes back. Oh, just to get the left foot higher. Oh, oh and drops the top. A bit more confident from Stasha. Gets stood up straight away on this attempt. Gradually moves that left foot closer, but balances backwards. It's, um, it's interesting. Her right foot was higher on the volume, like closer to the wall. So she needs it farther, basically south on that yellow volume, so that she can lean into the wall a little bit more. Yeah, so will she make those adjustments? You can see the rubber. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know what she's aiming for. Drops the chalk bag. All possible skin from her palm there you expressing. Go. Oh, goes yeah, up. you're right, a bit further down. There you go. A little slip. Here she goes again, 36 seconds. Might be her last attempt or couple yeah. of attempts here. But she got so close. Uh, she's going to fall again, tripping over her own towel. 20. She's got the zone already. 15 seconds. She's going to have to just to smash through this. I don't think she's going to have time. She doesn't. But still, the crowd responding. Big crowd favorite is Stasha. So Miho Nanaka is in touch with the podium here. Would like a quick send. Stretches far to the right with that right foot and puts a it further down. A little bit lower, yeah. Because you do have to get to the hold. You're going to little jump and then just lower it a little, yeah. Very confident from Miho then. <laughs> yeah, a little toe up. Move your feet. Moves super confidently in the last move. Right, she looks down at the zone hold. One jump to go. This is where Stasha fell, though. It is droppable. Checks the foot again and falls. Didn't seem quite confident on that last yeah, move. Her left foot slipped off the yellow right as she uh, committed to the to the move. Yeah, she'll know the feeling of it. But I was concerned about the second move. That jump thing she does to the right seems low percentage. It, uh, yeah, hard. Um, she likes it, though. That move, I mean. All right, here she goes again. Up and in. We've got upgraded the microphones, which is why you can hear all the bangs and foot pops and everything on the wall. Oh, that's just the thumb holding her. Could also backfire too. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Better nice, for there me. You go. Yeah, she's got lots of time, so. Right, will she hesitate? She needs to be very confident with this move. That's hard because her left foot's a little... Yeah, there you go. Readjust it. I was going to say it was a little bit lower. She might be trying oh, to do this statically. Really slow. Oh. Yeah, that's hard. Um, I could I could literally see her thought process. As she was coming across, she's like, oh, wait, maybe I can do this statically. All right, one last attempt if she doesn't fall. Holds the press. Oh, good. We get to see it one more time. Yeah, she's just got a ball, oh, nearly fell. She's got to just pick a method here. 
Jake's got the right foot on. She's going to jump. Oh, it looks good. Oh. It, it was a lot better, too. She really tried to the, use the momentum left to right and just couldn't get her hips up and up just enough. So she's Her first World Cup. It would be good for her to get a top. Here she goes, four minutes to work this tricky slab out. Oriane made it look very easy. Well, she's stood up. Good, good reach. Casually steps up, really solid so far. Good work from Flavi, really confident, sticks her tongue out and then falls. Looks like she was leaning out a little bit too much backwards and couldn't stick it. That's own hole, very bad. So feet working across, gets the toe carefully locked in. It's one of those boulders you feel like you should be holding your breath the whole time. Much rubber as possible on that right foot. Pops up and Flav is so close to getting that one. If you haven't already, it was it was a good one. So here Flavi goes again, looking very confident through this first section. Padding yeah. the feet out. Doing those opening moves super well. She looks better now, yeah. Right, here we go. Once more she commits to it. And nice. gets it. Her uh, first really boulder. Top in a first final. First final boulder, yeah. Yeah, you can really see the way she steps up into it. Throws her hips at the wall and she's standing up so much straighter than when Miho was trying it. So here is our penultimate athlete out on Boulder 2, Fita by Ito. Now she's a bit taller. It'll be interesting to see that last move, how she deals with it. Mm hmm. It's all like a, where your momentum is going. If it's going out or too far to the right, you fall. If it's going up a little bit nicely and you do it. Here she goes. She nearly fell off that first move. It was right on the edge, but she kept it together. She's crimping that. Yeah, she's trying to, isn't she? Crazy. Comfortable to zone. She's got to move that left foot up a little bit further, though, perhaps. She's going to pop. Ooh. That's a good first attempt, though. Flavi Cohort, her teammate, the only ones to climb this boulder at the moment. Does the opening move really nicely. All right, makes the match into the dish. Oh, I didn't see it on camera, but it was some kind of a foot pop. Be my age, and it's like I had to learn all of the tricks <laughs> because when I started climbing, you didn't do any of it. And it's it's really interesting to see how good they are on these types of boulders. Like, yeah, Reggie yeah. comes to mind obviously as well, and was was really bred into those. Is really good at it. And you can just see here, just flying through the beginning and getting to that. Her heart is beating fast here as the clock ticks down. Big well, it's hard getting that last move a couple of times, and you know you can get there, but you only need one good try. But. All these middle moves are, are hard. You can't can't overlook them. No, and that left foot goes again every time. Doesn't she doesn't understand it? It's like, well, hang on, you know, I did it a couple of times. Why this time? It's hard. It's I almost want to say she gets to the zone and she's thinking about the last move, and then her foot pops. So it's like, oh, I didn't get there. But uh, again, like she's a fabulous competitor. Come on! Oh, oh, buzzer beater. There we go. go. No, not to be. <laughs> it's funny how when you have to go, you probably just commit to the feet more quickly anyway, because yeah. you're like, well, I've got to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You should just have to go. Yeah, you can't match it after that buzzer finishes. All right, well, we know Yanya was good on Boulder 1, but we also know she had a pretty nasty toe injury, so this is going to hurt a little bit, potentially. She's obviously not going to go until she's fully ready, but it is something to consider as she starts to walk over. What's actually really crazy about the move she just did was uh, her feet were so close to the wall that uh, it was mostly strength, whereas now, now she moved her left foot a lot lower. She needs to find a little toe hook. Yeah, she looked down to the left foot. Oof, a little compression match. Well, she hasn't done this perfectly, but she's making it work. And that's what she needs to do. One jump away. 
micro adjustments going on, but she falls. Yeah, you're right about that wrap. I haven't spotted that. So I wonder if she'll do it again or whether it gets in the way as she goes. It's I think she'll do it the same. She'll just do it better. Yeah. She'll start in the bottom wrap, and as she's pulling up, she flips, and then as long as she stands up, um, it, it can look crazy easy, but that flips it right away, maybe. Now it goes back. All right, here we go. Watch that left foot. It's all important. Oh. She's not got a lot of drive going on at the moment. Really. Well, she wants a crowd there behind her. <laughs> just watch how she climbs this, even when she makes mistakes. I mean, just now she sort of bumped into that zone hole, which is incredible to see. Dynamic on the slab. Adjust the left foot, and then this was the bump she did before, <laughs> snatching into a bad zone hold. She'll have another chance of this if she gets it done quick. If she falls, let's see. She wasn't close before. Can she get a bit more height? She might be trying to go a bit... Yeah, I can't figure it. Yeah, it's, um, she just doesn't see it. And then when it was really tight, she was actually messing around with her feet and trying to go left foot onto the foothold. And um, eventually tried to get a heel up, but it slipped. And oh, well, she's not going to do the boulder. So Orianne out in front all alone. <laughs> and uh, we're only halfway done. So As our shot blurs out of focus, Orianne Berton, two tops out of two in just three attempts. Stunning from her. Yanni Garnbrett second, missed the top on the slab. Miho Nanaka also missed the top, but zones for them. Flavi coming back at them with a top on boulder two, and Futaba Ito struggling a little bit, no top on boulder one, just a zone. And let's have a look at this boulder. Sean, another jump, starting mm -hmm. right. Now that green blocker has mm -hmm. no texture, stops yes. you getting a high toe. Yes, yeah. And uh, the toe is obviously just to start, just to be annoying, because, you know, toe to start are annoying, and a little bit more full, but it's a different, different story, but... Uh, yeah, into the zone, and then you've got to go back the other way. And it looks like a sort of compression move in the middle, the two black volumes. It's mm -hmm. harder to do it like that, although we think the athletes might give that a go. But uh, yeah, if the competitors don't see it, they're definitely going to be trying to compress those small ones. And if they're strong, it might work. And if it's too hard, then again, uh, good job by the root sitters. So let's have a look at this. Oriane is in the lead. Oh, she catches the toe. You can see that blocker there, the dual text. Up, drops in. Now, this is going to be interesting. Has the need to be able to rest? So far, so straightforward. This move. Ah, uh, you could definitely match, though, yeah. So. Yeah, not as hard. But Orient's done this in every single boulder. I keep thinking it's super easy, and then other people struggle. So who knows? But that did look pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, it's funny. I looked at the boulder from the ground, and it's really hard to know what the holds at the top um, feel like, obviously. And as soon as her hands went on the first black, I was like, oh, it's like, you could see how much her hands went over into the hold. And I was like, oh, well, I, I hope two, three, four are worse. And uh, she didn't use to, she didn't do it. Like here, I saw how much her hand went in there and I was like, oh, heel, right. And then they're too close. They're, they're just a little bit too close. Yeah, and, the uh, second she got that one, I was like, yeah. oh. Oh, she was <laughs> Yeah. And like really smart for her to see that she could keep the heel. Actually, it's a heel toe. There's a heel toe actually. cam, yeah, on the left. Um, so she doesn't actually have to do the hard move, but a little, maybe a little bit of an oversight from the root setters. Uh, it's still hard. The first move is still hard. And uh, great vision of Orianne to be able to see that. Well, Stasha has the task once again of following Orianne out to the mats. So. That catch is the hardest part of Orianne's it, it, climb. It's the hardest move, for sure. Like, uh, Stash is doing it, trying to use all of them, rather than Orianne's method of missing that middle one. She definitely knows that as a competitor. Yeah, she gets the movement, for sure. It's just executing it. Here we go again. One, two. Tries to stop briefly. I tell you, this is the... Yeah, you can see her turning her body then, almost thinking about dropping into it. But you're right. Hopefully she doesn't try to kick that leg back. And again, she lets that pause. Mm -hmm. So tape back in. Here she goes again. Making that first move look really good now. One, two, three. Oh, when she was high. That was a really good try. When she was 
getting into that zone with her right hand, it was at 90 degrees, just trying to hold that one on lock off. And you either have to reverse dunk with your left hand or just come into it a tiny bit slower and just hold that lock off. <laughs> reverse dunk, I love it. Here she goes again. Oh, she's getting better, but time is ticking away for it. One last go for Stasha. Hasn't got that zone, although she's touched it a bunch of times, she hasn't used it, and that actually is the better method to do. She did the last <laughs> go. I love watching Miho come out, because she always has this moment where she acknowledges the crowd, and then she takes this breath, which seems to center herself. It's, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here she goes. She's <laughs> really thinking about this. One, two, two, four, oh, double, four. Just jump straight for it, why not? One, two. Well, that was the decision, and actually, she won't know, but that's probably the best way of doing it. But yeah, she hung there for quite a while, thinking about the move. It's crazy to think how quickly Oriane started the boulder, went right, left, to the same hold right away, and then doubled to the zone. <laughs> Unreal, right isn't it? And catch swing. Yeah, she's getting closer and closer to it. Locks in the right toe. Thinks about dropping a hand down and decides better of it. Tries the other method, which is mm. smart with that much time to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's she feeling this time? Again, the pause. Ooh. Probably her best try. Gets set, screws the left foot in. The Czech crowd does not need much encouragement to start shouting. They've been brilliant all weekend. Miho goes again. 30 seconds on the clock. Again misses it, getting a bit further away now. And I think she's done. She's done she yeah. is. Whew. Well, this is very interesting. So two to go. Peter Ito and Yanyu Garnbrett will come up next. But yeah, it, it does open it quite a, quite a bit. Uh, well, it could be anyone's game here. Flavi, can she get a medal for her first finals? We've seen it a few times. Hannes van Dyson got a medal in his first finals. There's a couple of others that I cannot remember right now. This year I'm talking about. Yeah, the coveted <laughs> yeah. first finals to get a medal, or first finals to win. Do you uh, remember Alex, your first Alex finals? Kasna. When I do. was, when was it, was it? it? 2009 wow. in uh, Fiera de Primera in Italy. Uh, <laughs> first finals, it was over the moon, and uh, came third. So yeah, nailed awesome. the podium. Oh, there you go, you got it. <laughs> All right, Flavi locks in the first move this time. Oof, even more impressive. Here Flavi goes up into the starting holds. Ooh, good, good, good. Doesn't even need the net, but she stopped a lot of her momentum uh, off the start hold uh, before she let go. Uh, so obviously, yeah, I got zone here, and we'll see if she can get to the top. Yeah, she did what Oriane did, tried to get the knee in, oh, but this is a really good go for it. It's good, yeah. And if she sees the heel hook, yeah, there it is. So she should be able to reach the finish room eventually. Don't right, do doesn't need to be two dynamic matches. Doing there it like Ariane. It's like they might have previewed together, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phenomenal top there from Flavi. Really, really, really well read. Well, Futaba nearly falls off the starting move. Holds it though, gets two oh, toes no. up. That's a, uh, I think worse, but she quickly realized that. And it's in control on that. It's actually a pretty good try. Even though she fell, she actually tried to slow down a lot of her momentum. And one limb on the bottom, one on the side, and then two holding onto the start hold as she does that. There, that's the starting position. So she's just getting very high, but that's why that blocker was put in to prevent them hooking too much. Or as you said, just to annoy them a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's almost like a, in preview you'd obviously see it, and so you're like, oh, we shouldn't tow it so high because we won't get any purchase off of it. Okay, well, one of the holds are. The climbers can't put on tick marks themselves, as you might do on an outdoor boulder. Ooh, same. It's, it's close. I do. Yeah, it's uh, it's tricky. And it makes Orianne's flash very impressive here. It's Futabar in the last 30 seconds. She's got to unlock something. It's slightly higher in it, but still not. Doesn't look like she's ever going to stick that move at the moment. Last go. Holds the swing. Must be getting tired now as she moves that foot up as close as she can to the no-tex. Tried a different method for her last go. Why not? But no send for Futaba. No zone. And only the two French athletes working this out. Raised her right foot up higher, and uh, she knew all the time that she'd move her foot back, so she wasn't really trying to do it that way. It was just that she could move her right foot. And... All right, well, we know how good Yanya is. What's her mental game like? She needs a top hit, misses the start immediately. Yeah, she was actually up really far away from that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. Good ah. start. Oh, she tries oh. to stop. Missing that anyone to really struggle with this start move gets it in now. Oh, oh. <laughs> she enjoyed that. A little bit of showboating as she catches it with the right. Look with at this. Yeah, it spins. Out. Really cool. And it yeah. looks like a different boulder. Totally different method, but gets the same heel. Yeah. Yeah, and um, should keep it again. There you go. Great, great touch. All right, well, she keeps in touch, but she won't jump over Oriane yet. So it's all going to come to boulder number four, and Oriane has a chance to beat Yanya Gambra here. Mm -hmm. And the funny part about that is, too, is because she's behind a boulder, it most likely doesn't matter. Like, what's crazy now is um, if the last boulder is super easy, Orianne knows if she, once if she does the boulder, she is the winner. So it's like the best scenario for Orianne. And um, Flavia obviously in third, uh, but because she has one zone less than Yanya, um, again, Yanya's tries don't matter so much. Yeah. It's unlikely that Flavia would get the top and Yanya would only get zone. It's, it can happen, but based on the way the scores work, it's, uh, it's really interesting. Let's have a look at this boulder. Oriane getting massive support. She's smiling out there on the mats as we have one last look at this 3D. Goes from left to right. You've got to catch those holds. Long moves to the zone with heels locked in and then swinging over, toe hook that blue jib. Back left again, a flatty, a Gaston star move, and then finally the top. Mejdi is sitting on someone's shoulders in the crowd. Team France are going insane. This is massive, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, this is a... Uh Super exciting to see. Oh wow, you can stop there too. Well, Oriane, I was curious if this was a 360 campus. It was meant to be a cross, but she's doing it like this. This is not intended beta. She's going a bit wild here. That is definitely not intended beta. <laughs> Something the root setters will be looking at between their fingers. Scary move. Now that's better. She wants to get that toe over, but can't reach it. Oh. Now look, oof, oof. she will know that going feet first, it didn't work, but she knows that the root setters are unlikely to put a move in like that in. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It, but it might work. I mean, we've seen crazy stuff. Anything goes. It's, uh, it's hard to know actually exactly how to do the boulder. I would say, yeah, cross and maybe even, I guess, toe up outright. But when you're previewing it, you could be like, oh, maybe I go to that right hold and then get a heel look, like a hand for match heel. Like, when I see stuff like that, I'm like, oh, it's a reverse 360 campus because they want you to face the crowd in like classic Tom Cruise style. But <laughs> Ariane drops it. All right, she. This is this is the moment where like mentally she has to keep it together, and this is big for her. And you can see deep breath, easily into the first hole. Oh no, I made a mistake. She already won. She's already won. 
That was why she. That was why she couldn't believe it, because she knew she only had to flash zone. She will be. Uh, this is her first World Cup victory. Wow. So we are watching Oriane sort of victory lap here, and obviously she's just chilled out a bit. And yeah. Is doing really well. Up to the zone, gets the heel in. Trying to figure the sequence out. We'll be getting tired though. Can't make this. I don't think she cares anymore, to be perfectly honest. No, I think I think she's done, but <laughs> I think part of her just wants to go and crowd surf. <laughs> Mejdi is still sitting on someone's shoulders in the crowd. Kicks back in. One last try for Oriane. Out to the crimp. Locks in the toe. She doesn't care. We don't care. A huge reaction from the crowd. Unreal. <laughs> and uh, Stas has been waiting. All right, let's control ourselves. We know who's got the gold, but Stasha is still fighting here. And all of this, of course, practice for the world champs, upcoming competitions, Olympic places on the line. And Stasha is one of those who is definitely going for one of those places. So, miss on the first hold. Oriane is still sitting there with the head in the hands. Stasha pulls on into the start side pulls. Two minutes 30. Hasn't got the zone yet. Closer. You can see how dirty that towel is. It's, uh, it's pretty sandy out there, so the athletes will be wanting to prevent the dirt and the sand getting onto the holds. Holds it this time from Stasha. Right, now she needs to unleash the power into the blocked crimp. Gets the toe in. Ideally a cross. Oh, it's so powerful, it's crazy. Minute buzzer goes for Stasha. Thumbs pressing in as she matches the smaller of the holds. Comes into the zone. She's been awarded that already. Needs to unlock the top sequence. Yeah, that's that's crazy hard. She's tall too. Um, yeah, I am curious what they really intended for that. Yeah, I thought it was improbable because they were telling me the beach and I was kind of looking at it. Every time I said it, it seemed to grow in length. Mm -hmm. But it is meant to be a sort of like a cross and then a swing through when you release the toe or the heel. Stasha getting that move consistently now. Nine seconds there, probably not going to be enough time. She'll go to the very end. That's so small, it's crazy. Hard boulders for the women. They do ask for them, they want them, and they've been giving them tonight. All right, here is Miho Nanaka. All right, Miho pulls on. She's in fourth. Uh, straight away, one, two, and see the windmill of the feet and left foot landing there really, really, really well. Yeah, she has a chance on the podium here, so she's going to want to fight hard. Oh, turning to face the crowd in a slow motion windmill and a hand flick. That was strong. Locks in the toe. It'll be on the jib. But now what? <laughs> like now well, what? now you can go up with your right. Oh, she flips it there. I'm trying to yeah, match it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. nice. He's got to release that toe at some point. Matches Miho on a great performance here. Nice, yeah. Double shoulder, no? Oh. Oh. I'm confused. I don't know what that last hold is actually for. I thought it might have been a double shoulder to get out the toe before you go to the, the finish. Yeah, it's meant to be a gas, so you meant to gas on it with yeah, the left. Yeah, right here, yeah. Yeah, so you meant um, to get that with the left and then... But I think she knew that it was too small, she wouldn't be able to, so she goes for the top and I think there's a chip on the top. There is, yeah. Um, she had her fingers right wrapped yes, around yeah, it as yeah. well. But it wasn't like a victory one, it's like hard. 
Oh gosh, I can't think. On one of the other competitors that I'm drawing a blank. Flatty. Yeah, so that bronze already up for grabs. Let's see what happens. Throws up into the two holds, crosses through again. She's got a minute and a half to go, which is lots of time. Gets a heel in this time. Pops it though, that's not gonna work. She's doing different, oh, goes for the heel again. Yeah, here and then, yeah, and then needs to get the toe in. Well, she manages to match where her heel was. I think she just had one finger at a moment on that. A lot, it's like, it's harder like that. But uh, yeah, one more try. I'm, I'm, it's hard. That, this is one of those boulders where it's like, do you try it just once? Uh, sorry, twice in your four minutes? And now that was her third, but she looks just uh, a little bit too tired. I would, I'll be surprised if she gets farther on this last try, but it's definitely going to try it because it's the last boulder. Yeah, I would agree. And maybe that's why yeah, she's done. That is it for me, Honanaka. Fourth currently. Mm -hmm. All right, it's flabby, though. She could get a medal here. Gets prepared. She's currently oh. sitting in third. Uh, missed the big one actually there, so didn't even uh, get to the point to put the foot on. And what's really interesting is I assume she previewed with uh, Orian, and uh, Orian went right away, double to the small one. I think Orian's best when she just trusts that instinct. You know, she's been she's been climbing for such a long time, and when she just goes for it, doesn't overthink it. Mm -hmm. Huge moment for her as well. This is just a, it's a final of massive moments. This. Right hand peeling off, left hand looks solid on the IFSC, so go and check that out on our social media. In fact, subscribe while you're there. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the rest. Lots of extra content. Ariane shouting some encouragement. Uh, what is cool though, uh, regardless of how she finishes these last two minutes, is uh, she will get a medal in her first World Cup final. So, so she's guaranteed at this point. Yeah, Even yeah, yeah, because um, uh, Mio Stasha will climb. Futuba, unfortunately, uh, hasn't done a boulder, but he has two tops. So, um, yeah, and Yanya can't upgrade. And yep. Yeah. And even, what is it, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. If she does the boulder, she puts pressure on Yanya to get zone. Um, as well, in a couple of weeks. I think a lot of people are using this as training for that. Oh, just uh, right at the end, her right, right hand is blowing a tiny, tiny bit. All right, last couple of tries. Yeah, 36 seconds to go. Come on, Flavi. Oh, nice, sticks it. Just a bit more of a zone. rest made a difference. See how she does it. Nice campus goes for the goes for the Superman campus, but uh, a little bit too powerful. And there She's we go, gets the zone. And a medal. The Oreo medal. runs across the stage. <laughs> that is awesome. Ah, two medals for Team France. All right, Futaba Ito stands facing the crowd, waiting for the sign to turn, for her time to get going. And here we go. Would love to finish on a high, hasn't had success for a bit now. Got a zone on Boulder 2, but has missed everything else so far. A bit of a sight to go there, missing the left hand. Again, falls, trying to work out the sequence. Oh, it's hard, yeah, she needs to get up a little bit higher, jump a little bit more off those feet. So she'll jump over Stasher if she can get something out of this. If she can get to the zone, I think. Uh, it depends on attempts, isn't it? Once more, right hand flipped. So not a perfect side pulls and then up. Big move, trying to go two hands into the smaller of the volumes. Yeah, just like Oriane and final, and she hasn't been on the podium yet. Oh. And so, uh, yeah, still searching for that. And uh, obviously, just to make the finals, you have to be a phenomenal climber. So it will come. And uh, it is definitely frustrating when it doesn't come quick enough. But she's a, she's a young competitor. She's a great competitor. And Right, toe in. Here she goes again. Oh, Beth 
nice, just yeah. like where he had on the small one. Gets the zone. Uh, oh, I'm curious. I think it actually was eight tries. Right, she's, got, she's going for the one armor. Locks it off, but falls. I can't American wait campus. to see a replay of Oriane on this boulder. Oof, oh, I'm yeah. excited to see that. <laughs> Look at that, zone and eight. <laughs> it's funny how your mind works like that. Much better from Futaba, getting the range on this now. But this move is so hard. Oh yeah, heal look, good, good, good. Flips it, a bit like Miho, but Miho had a heel, not a toe. She's gonna struggle to drop into it from that angle, yeah. That's it. All right, it's done. All right, well, Futaba says goodbye, and we have our final climber, Stashigo in a position, sorry, not Stasha, Yanya Gambre in a position that she's unused to. She has to climb, but she, her position has already been decided. Now, Yanya presumably has figured out that Oriane's won it, but she did have a long look over towards Oriane then, just to maybe make sure, just to see. Yeah, it's uh, obviously she just wants to top the boulder, but uh, she might just be curious. Uh, she can only win your first. There you go, 360 Tom oh. Cruise. There you go. <laughs> this is cool. Complete the, yeah, I thought maybe. Yeah, you can't pass out there so you get your heel or toe on, and then your uh, your wrist is in the right position. Gosh, she's read this well, hasn't she? Right, bumps up to the flatty. There you go. There's the double. Then you go out again. Ah, she's oh, gonna top it. Mega finish. <laughs> Well, she deserves every second of that showboating. And I bet she goes straight to Oriane to give her a big hug. Yeah, the smoke goes off as she walks to the front. Yanya Gabra is finish. back with a medal. Ah, oh, Sean, I really enjoyed that comp. Yeah. That was up and down all over the place. I had no idea what was going on half the time, but it was super exciting. And what was intro was what I was going to say was um, uh, she might have went and just looked out at Oriane just to see, you know, how how she was reacting. You only, yeah, like you said, uh, like I said, sorry, you only get to win your first one once, and I love seeing uh, how how they respond once yeah. you know you've won. Like, do you cry? Do you do you smile? Do you look at your coach? Uh, yeah, do you look at your wife, your girlfriend? Like, just like what what do you do? Do you look stare at the crowd? Do you do you jump with joy? And uh, it's uh, it's really really cool. Awesome from them all. Well, Yanya takes off her shoes. Her comeback has begun. And Flavi will go first. And Sean, you've actually got to go um, and interview Oriane. Oh, shoot. Do I just... Yeah, because I'll just run down there and... Uh, yeah. yeah. And go, I'll... Uh, go well, mic. Don't worry about coming back. It's, uh, okay. It'll be a podium. But thank you so much, man. Pleasure. Hey, yeah, no, thanks. It's great, uh, as always. And uh, hopefully, hope we get to do it again. All right, dude. See you in a bit, man. Good luck. See you, guys. All right, so the flower ceremony begins. Ariane Berton is announced to the crowd. She stands up, her first gold medal. And I have known her for a very long time, Ariane Berton. I've seen her eight years old climbing boulders in videos. She then entered the comp circuit, total breath of fresh air. And it is very, very satisfying and excellent to see her win her first boulder gold medal. Congratulations, Dory Amberton, once more. Well, we pack up from Prague. We move on to Brixton and Innsbruck. A brand new winner is crowned. With plenty more action to come as the sparklers on the side of the stage erupt. There they are. We get to see them this time. <laughs> 